Hi, I'm Rob Weideman, the uh, content creator for AdvantageLumber.com. I'm here with Dave Staber of Dave Staber Woodworking. We've got a live edge, live oak table that he built, and we're gonna go over some of the things that he did to create this, this piece of artwork that he has. It can't be considered woodworking as much as it can be artwork. So we cut this off on the CNC to get two straight edges so we could join these together. Right. And it worked really nice. Yeah, not an easy thing to do to get a straight no, line on No, not get a straight line on a piece, of, piece like square, this. It's square peg, round hole type thing. Yeah, and then we, and then we just uh, kept shaving it off with the CNC and then finished it off with a 120 grit belt sander and some uh, and an orbital. Just you know, it. all the way to 320. And, and this isn't a wood, live, ed, live oak isn't something you're gonna see very often. No, it's not. no, but it's, it's actually very pretty stuff. So as you can see in the trestle, we angled the legs out a little bit, so it wasn't just a regular straight yeah. trestle. And we have eight pieces in each leg that we glued together. Whew. And we did that. We did a center post first. Yeah. Okay. And we cut we cut the, the joinery in the center post on three three joints, one inch thick all the way through, one inch one inch wide. If you come from here and go all the way around, it, it flows. There's no square edges. You know, it just all comes right in. And this is all mortise and tenon joinery. All wood mortise and, and tenon, yeah. And all the wood is everything in it, even the, even the tenons, it's all, all live oak. As far as I know, it was all from the same tree. It had all one dick, because he said it was, you know, the whole thing was coming that way. So and that's, as you can see, everything, the grains all match yeah. through the whole thing. And it's it's all the same, uh, I'll call it flavor. Yeah. As you get like the ray fleck, the grain yeah. pattern. And the yellow, the, and the yellow. Sap and, yep, yeah. Sapwood. Yep, sapwood. Okay, so we just looked at the live edge table. Now we've got another wood here. This one, same thing, it's not common. You're not gonna see it everywhere. And I see you wow. you, you, you picked some spalt, you got some spalt in this one. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Show me where that checked and what you did with it. So what we do is we fill that with epoxy. And we take some epoxy and we tint it. And then we and then we put the epoxy in here. So we have we have epoxy here, we have some epoxy here and down through here. You know, and and here too. So, and it turned out real nice. And it, it's it's a nice. chance to show off uh, the craftsmanship yeah. that somebody can do with it. Work, yeah. so. What is this? You've got the natural accents here, right? Right, right. And then this is kind of where I'm amazed. <clears throat> so I'm guessing this is the natural color of the this wood. This is the natural color of the wood. Okay. Yep. Yep. And how'd you get these legs built? What? So the legs, we took the legs, and I just took smaller pieces of persimmon and and glued them together. I had to glue some of these together to get this leg. So it's pro probably started out like three by threes. Okay. And then we cut them out on the bandsaw. Okay. All right. And then we and then I just sanded them down and uh, jointed them with mortise and tenon. And I'm Rob Weideman again, Dave Staber. This is the persimmon coffee table and the live edge live oak dunning table.